Is there a 100% winning strategy? Theoretically, yes, an arbitrage system does this. But sadly, it is not really possible, at least for us retail traders. In this video, we are about to dive deep into what's called arbitrage trading. And I will show you a very easy example of how to create an EA like that. This EA will show you terrific backtest results, even though they very rarely work in reality. Let's get started. In trading and investing, there is no such thing as riskless money. Every investment has some downside potential. A universal law is that if someone wants to have higher returns, they have to take on more risk. When it comes to arbitrage trading, however, these rules are ignored and a new dimension opens. These are riskless investments with a 100% win rate. The concept of arbitrage trading is the following. Brokers and liquidity providers sometimes have different ask and bid prices to an extent where they can be taken advantage of. Traders like to capitalize on these types of mistakes, expecting that in the future the prices will correct and represent the true value of assets. An arbitrage strategy is always based on some kind of mispricing or mistake that the brokers make. Let's look at a very easy to understand example, an arbitrage triangle in Forex. Here, three different assets can be seen. These three are highly correlated with each other in a way that one of them should be equal to the second one divided by the third. This is usually the case and the prices represent a logical value. However, if the euro pound is not equal to the euro US dollar divided by the pound US dollar, we can bet that it will be the same in the future and the prices will correct, which is obviously the case and that is why it is a 100% winning strategy. For example, if the price of the euro US dollar is 1.0, the price of GBP USD is 2 and the price of euro GBP is not 0.5 but 0.6. We can see that the euro GBP is overpriced compared to what the real value should be. We can sell euro GBP and to avoid losses made by the fluctuations, we can simultaneously buy euro US dollar and sell GBP USD. All three of these trades have the same volume. We now sold one lot of euro and bought one lot of euro. We bought one lot of GBP and sold one lot of GBP. And the same thing is true for the dollar. For this reason, no matter where the price moves, our profits from one direction will cover the losses from the other. So we are totally safe. We just have to wait for the prices to correct. Let's say the euro US dollar stays at $1. The GBP USD is 2.5 and the Euro GBP corrects to exactly 0.4. The Euro USD position is at 0% profit. The GBP USD is at 0.5 divided by 2, so 25% loss. While the Euro GBP is at 0.2 divided by 0.6, so 33% profit. After realizing this, we took advantage of the broker's mispricing using arbitrage to make a profit. Now that we have discussed what arbitrage trading is, let's code it in MQL5. In the example I mentioned, I ignored some key factors that make it harder to have a profitable arbitrage strategy, such as swaps, commissions, spreads, and even the execution speed is something to take into account when making an arbitrage strategy. Let's create the EA. First, we include the trade.mqh file and create a C trade member. This is the class that can be used for trading and placing orders. Then there are the input parameters. We would like to define what lot size to use when entering trades. The lot size per thousand input variable will be the lot size for each thousand of the account money we have. The total commission per lot traded will give information to our EA about the commission for a lot traded for an instrument. This is because we cannot access this information with MQL5. Hopefully, this commission is the same for all three securities, but if it is not, you should use the biggest one. In the ONTIC function, we need to define the ratios. The ask of the euro US dollar divided by the bit of the GBP US dollar should be equal to the ask of the euro GBP. The bit of the euro US dollar divided by the ask of the pound dollar should be the bit of the euro pound. This is because the ask of the euro pound pair 
represents the price where we can buy euro and short the pound. Now, if the calculated ask price is bigger than the commission we have to pay times 3, since we pay commission for each security, plus the spread of each security, plus a single point, we have an arbitrage opportunity that should be exploited. If we have zero positions, we calculate the lot size and sell the euro US dollar and then buy the pound US dollar and the euro pound. What we also have to do is to close the trades of the other side. I will call the side where we buy the euro pound the positive side and where we sell the euro pound will be the negative side. So the function will be called close negative side. For the other side, the calculated bid has to be less than the actual bid. This is where we will close the positive side, go long on the euro US dollar and short the pound dollar and the euro pound pairs. The functions we are using are very easy to understand. For the close pot side, we iterate through the open positions and if the positions type is a buy and the symbol is either the GBP USD or the Euro GBP, we close the position. And if it is a sell, and we sell the euro US dollar, we close it as well. We do the opposite with the close next side function. The other functions are just basic round functions. Now let's run a backtest. It should have good results since it is technically a riskless money making machine. And that is exactly what happens. The result of this backtest is a profit of 110 million dollars whereas the deposit is only 10,000. This is a ridiculous backtest with only a 6% drawdown, which I assume happened either when the spread of the assets went even more out of hand than what it was when we entered the arbitrage, or maybe the execution delay caused this drawdown. But if you ask me, a 6% drawdown is acceptable if we 10x our money each year. Now, of course, this is not a good representation of reality. I have run this EA trying to lock the difference between the assets and the maximum I have gotten so far was 13 points. 20 is needed at least and the backtest report shows an insane trading frequency with multiple trades per day on average, which is why I can say with confidence that the backtest is not at all close to reality. Even though you didn't find a holy grail trading system today, hopefully you got some new information from this video, maybe even inspiring you to create a trading strategy that is actually profitable in the real world. Now that's it for today's video, thank you for watching, hope you have enjoyed. If you have any question about this topic or any other topic, do not hesitate to ask them in the comments below. See you in the next one, peace. Cooking up with the booze My niggas is sad